Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga and today we are going to do some detoxing. So on those nights when you've gone out and you've had a little bit more to eat or drink than you typically would and you're not eating quite as cleanly as you normally would or you've just had a Thanksgiving feast or Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever celebration it might be, birthdays, um, but you've just kind of eaten and had a some drinks that you normally wouldn't have. We're going to detox those out. So lots of twists today. Take care of your spine. Sit up nice and tall anytime we twist. Make sure that there's space between each of those vertebra. And let's have some fun sitting up nice and tall. Let's roll those shoulders up and back. And let your shoulders just slide down and away. I hope whatever celebration it was, I hope it was a good one. I hope it was fun. And even if it's just you're celebrating a day, good for you. We gently press those palms down towards the floor. Oh, that length in the spine, that just feels so good. Pressing those shoulders down and away. Inhale, reach. And as you exhale, let's rotate to the right. Little tap of the fingertips to the floor. Inhale up nice and tall. And exhale, rotate to the left. Little tap of the fingers. Inhale, reach once again. One more time each side. Breathe, just rotating as far as you're able, keeping that length in the spine, and just moving with your breath. Inhale, reach it all the way up and overhead. Exhale, release that right hand down, left arm up and over. That lateral motion. Oh, gosh, that feels good. Inhale, reach. Take it at your own pace. Get those big, full, deep breaths in. Mm. Inhale, both arms up. One more time, each side. And last time here. Inhale, both arms come up. And exhale, gently release your hands down by your sides. And we're going to turn. We're going to bring our feet out and away from us just a little bit. We want to have plenty of room to sit up nice and tall. So when those knees are in super tight, we have this tendency to kind of hollow out through the tummy and chest and round our lower middle back. I want you to sit up nice and tall and then spread those feet just about the width of your mat. Maybe not quite that far, but up to you. Hands come to heart center. We're going to rotate to the right, placing that left elbow to the right knee and then press against that knee. Gazing out over that right shoulder. Breathe. Just kind of notice what's going on with the body. Making sure you're still breathing. We turn back to face front. And then we turn to the left. Right elbow to that left knee. And gently press. Coming back to face front, bring your hands to your shins or walk those hands down to your feet and just round it over. So oftentimes after we've indulged for whatever the reason, tummy can be kind of upset. So we want to make sure that we're going to be gentle, we're going to be kind, and we're going to work to make it feel better. Ever so slowly, starting at your tailbone, roll it up, one vertebra at a time, till we sit up nice and tall. Let's sweep those feet around, come up onto all fours. Hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width, core is nice and strong. As you exhale, let's draw that right ear towards your right shoulder, right shoulder towards your right hip, hip up towards your ear. Gazing just out beyond that right pinky. Inhale it back to center, keeping that core strong. Exhale, draw that left shoulder towards that left hip, hip towards the shoulder, ear towards the shoulder. And we just look right out beyond that left pinky. And inhale it back to center. Good exhale as you hollow the tummy and chest. Oh, lifting your spine towards the sky. And then inhale it. Tummy comes down towards the ground as you lift your gaze towards the sky. Exhale, hollow. Cat. <clears throat> Inhaling it to cow. Let's do that one more time each way. One more cow. 
And back to your neutral spine, shifting your weight to your right hand, left hand behind the head, elbow out wide. Inhale, lifting that left elbow towards the sky. And as you exhale, elbow to thumb. Inhale, open it up. And exhale, close it. Inhale it open. Exhale, elbow to thumb. This time, as you open, extend that left arm to the sky and then sweep it through. Shoulder to the mat, side of the head to the mat. Rotate and reach. Right arm up just as high as you can reach. Breathe. Rotating that right palm towards the front, reach it up and over. Allowing that arm to fall just slight right along your face. As you close your eyes and focus on your breath, what do you feel? Allow yourself to feel all the feels. Inhale, lift that right arm once again and slowly release your hand down, pressing it back up to tabletop. Center your weight. We shift our weight now to that left hand, right hand behind the head. As you inhale, we open it up, elbow goes high. And as you exhale, elbow comes down, tapping the thumb. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Two more times. Your pace, your breath. This time, as you open it up, extend that right arm up and then pass it through, thread that needle, shoulder to the mat, side of the head to the mat, rotate and reach, left arm up just as high as you can reach, breathe. Rotating that left palm towards the front, reach it up and over, arm right along the side of your face. Inhale, lift that left arm, release your hand down, and press it back up to tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift your knees just an inch off of the mat, stretching through the feet. As you exhale, extend those legs, shift your weight back towards your heels. And let's alternate bending knees, walk it out. As you exhale, let both heels sink. Taking a gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold. A little shift of your weight forward and back. Heels to toes, toes to heels. Head's heavy, arms are heavy. Just notice as you rock your weight, where is your weight? Is it in that outer edge of your foot? Or have you evened it out and passing right through the center of your foot? Right in line with the second and third toe. That's what we're going for. Coming back to center, slowly, slowly. Roll it up. Arms are heavy, head's heavy. Just ragged all your way, all the way up. As you reach the top, a good shoulder roll. And shoulders slide down and away. Do that again, big shoulder roll. And give those arms a couple little shakes. <laughs> Letting go of tension in the neck and shoulders. And then just gently let those arms hang down by your sides. Rock it back to your heels. Bring your big toes to touch. Just a slight pigeon-toed stance. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, sit to chair. Pull those hands to heart center. Inhale, rise. Reach it up. Exhale, arch it back. Palms stay touching. Spread your fingers wide, creating space in that belly. Inhale it up tall, and exhale, sit to chair, weight in the heels. Inhale, rise. One more time, exhale, arch it back, palms stay touching. Inhaling it up tall, and sit to chair, pull those hands to heart center. Weight is in the heels, glue your knees side by side. We turn and place that right elbow to the left knee, pressing against the knee, working to bring your hands back to heart center. Weight is still in those heels. Knees side by side. That right knee can be sneaky, trying to sneak forward. 
Opening up those arms if you like. Back of that right arm pressing against the outside of the knee. Left arm extending up. And breathe. We keep that rotation, bringing the hands back to heart center, shifting back to face front. Inhale, rise. Arch it back. One more just like that. Inhale up and sink it down to chair. Weights in the heels. We rise once again. And exhale, arch it back, stretching through the belly, through those shoulders. Inhale it up. And exhale, sit to chair. Glue those knees, we turn and place that left elbow to the right knee, pressing against the knee. We're going to bring those hands towards heart center. Weight is in our heels. Breathe. Opening those arms, if you like, back of that left arm against the outside of the right knee. Are those knees still side by side? That left knee is trying to be sneaky, sneaking forward. We keep that rotation, pulling those hands back to heart center. Turn it back to face front. Inhale, we rise. This time, open those arms to a nice wide V as you lift your gaze. Inhale it up tall. And exhale, sweep those arms forward as you hinge forward. Arms sweep back to airplane. Rolling those shoulders back. Finding your breath. Turn your palms to the sky. Spread your fingers and reach even further. Activating through the upper and middle back. We once again opening up those palms to the sky. Big circle of those arms up and over as you hinge all the way up. Pull the hands to heart center. Rock it back to your heels. Open up those feet to mountain. Inhale, reach. And exhale, swan dive. Forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, take a big step back with your left foot. We lift the chest and gaze forward. Hips are heavy. Breathe, core is strong. Gently take your gaze down towards your right big toe, left hand to the inside of the right foot, rotate and reach. Right arm up, high as you can reach. Find your breath. Circle that right arm all the way around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back. Nestle the back of the hand against the outside of your head if you can, and then roll it open even more. Ah, that feels good. Extending right arm up, and release it down. Stepping that left foot in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, giant step back with your right foot. We lift the chest, we lift our gaze. Hips are heavy, feeling that good stretch down the front of that right leg. Core strong. We take our gaze down towards our left big toe, right hand to the inside of that left foot, rotate and reach. Left arm up, just as high as you're able. As you ex exhale, circle that left arm around behind, back of the hand nestles against the outside of the hip, and we rotate even deeper. Work in flexibility in the spine, detoxifying the body, wringing out all of the impurities that we've had to eat or drink. Breathe. Also great for getting rid of negative energy. Those twists, just wringing everything out. That's not going to serve us well. Reaching that left arm up. Release your hand down. Step that right foot in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. And as you exhale, take a giant step, opening up. Legs out nice and wide. Arms open out to a T. Core strong. As you exhale, reach those right fingertips down towards your left leg. Can you tap your toes or your shin and come back up? Core strong, exhale, left fingertips, right leg, and back up we come. So as low as feels right to you, challenge yourself, but be kind. Breathe, keeping that core strong. One more time each side. Strength, flexibility, a little balance rolled in here. Coming back to center. And slowly hinge it forward. 
halfway over, releasing that right hand down, rotating the body and extending left arm up. Allowing the pelvis to shift to create that really nice stretch through the inner thigh of that right leg. Circling that left arm around behind the back, forearm along the small of the back. If you can find your right thigh, hold on to it. You can keep that right hand there for support, or if you like, right hand taking a hold of that left ankle and draw that upper body towards that left leg. This is challenging for a number of reasons. Maybe your gaze comes up towards the sky. So be nice. Notice how your body adapts. Stay safe. We lift and release that right hand, releasing that left arm up. And we switch sides. Left hand comes down. Right arm extends to the sky. Allow that pelvis to shift so you get that really nice stretch all along the inner thigh of that left leg. Breathe, lifting out of that left shoulder, out of the right fingertips, circling that right arm around behind your back. If you can find that left thigh, hold on to it. And again, we can stay right here, taking our gaze up or off to the side, taking care of your neck. If you like, left hand takes a hold of that right ankle and we draw the upper body towards that right leg. Turning and taking your gaze up towards the sky, compromising balance quite a bit here. So be nice. If you need that left hand for support, keep it. Core strong, we rise, releasing that left hand. Right arm back up and slowly release your hands down. Let's release the weight of the upper body down. And just breathe. Let's heel toe those feet in once. Toes are still turned open and let that upper body be heavy once again. So depending upon the length of your legs and your flexibility, yep, your fore, the crown of your head might come to the floor before some others with some longer legs or a little tighter hamstrings. So don't judge. Just be present right here. Let gravity do the work. You just let your body relax as best you can. Once again, heel toe those feet back open and ever so slowly start to roll it up. One vertebra at a time, stacking, rolling it up. Big shoulder roll at the top and shoulders slide down and away. Extend those arms out to a T. We shift those left toes towards the top of the mat, right toes towards the top corner of the mat, windmilling that right arm up and over, placing that right hand to the inside of your left foot, rotate and reach. Revolve triangle, extending and lengthening, stacking shoulders, stacking arms, really working to twist through the torso as best you can. As you exhale, release that left hand down. Bending that left knee, back heel comes off the mat to a runner's lunge. Shifting both hands to the inside of your foot and release that back knee to the mat. Untuck your toes. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, turn and look out over that left shoulder as that left knee rolls open. And then inhale it back to center. Again, exhale, rolling that left knee open, turning and looking out over that left shoulder. And inhale it back to center. One hand on either side of your foot, tuck your back toes, lift that back knee. As you exhale, lift your hips, straightening that left leg, back heel down, square the pelvis, draw your nose towards your knee. Inhale back to your runner's lunge. Shift both hands to the inside of the foot. Walk those hands back to center, turning your toes out to the outside corners of your mat. And ever so slowly, roll it up, all the way up. A big shoulder roll at the top, and shoulders slide down and away. Extend those arms out to a T, shift those right toes towards the top of the mat, left toes towards the top corner of the mat, windmill that left arm up and over, placing that left hand to the inside of the right foot, rotate and reach.
extending out of the shoulder, twisting just as much as you're able, lengthening and lifting, breathing slow and steady. As you exhale, release that right hand down, hand on either side of your foot, front knee bends, back heel comes off of the mat into a runner's lunge. Breathe. Releasing that back knee to the mat, untuck your toes, bring both hands to the inside of your foot. As you exhale, let that right knee roll open as you turn and look out over that right shoulder. Inhale it back to center, drawing that right knee back in. Let's do that once more. Roll it open. And back to center we come. One hand on either side of your foot. Tuck the back toes. Lift that back knee. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, lift your hips. Straighten that front leg. Square the pelvis. Nose towards your knee. Inhale back to that runner's lunge. Shift both hands to the inside of the foot and we walk those hands back through center. Toes shift to the outside corners of your mat and let your upper body be heavy. Breathe. Inhale, lift just slightly. Heel toe those feet in. To hip width apart. Hanging in forward fold, soft bend in the knees. Breathe. Bend your knees as much as you need to to get the hands to the mat. We center that right hand out in front of us. We rotate our body and extend. Left arm up, just as high as you can reach. Working to stack your shoulders and to stack your arms. As you exhale, release that left hand down. Takes the place of the right. And we rotate and reach. Right arm up. High as you can go, rotating through that torso, feeling that strength in that upper and middle back, pressing that left palm into the mat to help get that deeper rotation. Slowly release it down. Forward fold, bringing the hands to the elbows. We hold on, a soft bend in those knees, and just gently sway side to side. Coming back to center, relax your arms. We shift our weight to our heels and ever so slowly begin to bend those knees, lowering yourself down into a tight little squat. Breathe. Release your hands, lower yourself down onto your bottom. Let's slide on down towards the top of the mat. Extending the legs out nice and long, flex your feet, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, back of that left hand to the outside of your right foot, rotate your body and extend that right arm in a diagonal line, opening up the chest, lengthening and reaching. Breathe. Circling that right arm up and over, bringing the palms to touch. Inhale, reach it out and sit up nice and tall. Exhale, back of the right hand to the outside of your left foot. Rotate and reach that left arm in a diagonal line, opening up the chest. Breathe. Inhale, circle that left arm up and over. Palms touch. Inhale, one hand on either side of your feet. Reach it out and up. Let's rock it back. Pulling those knees in. Just a tight little ball, challenging our core just a little bit, stretching out through that middle and lower back. We bring the hands down by the ankles and extend the legs, supporting those legs just as much as you need. Breathe. Let's break, walk in those hands down towards your feet if you're able. So keep them wherever they are. You can even take a hold of the big toes with your first two fingers and your thumb. Now use the strength of those arms to close the gap between the upper and lower body. Just an amazing calf and hamstring stretch. Sneaky little core exercise. 
and then slowly release it down. Shift those hands behind the legs. If you need the support, keep it. Point those toes. If you don't need it, release it. And ever so slowly, lower your legs down. As your heels touch, flex your feet, reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen and hinge it forward. Forward fold. Hopefully you're feeling your tummy, feeling better already. Just move in your body, particularly after you've had more to eat and drink than you typically do. You can feel kind of heavy, loaded down. Just feels good to kind of work some of it off. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Soften your feet, lowering those arms, and ever so slowly, let's take it back. Drawing that right knee in towards your chest, hands to your shin just below your knee. Point and flex your foot, roll your ankle. Softening that foot, left arm out to a T. We pull with that right hand, that right knee up and out. We're going to work to keep that pelvis just as level as we possibly can. There's this tendency to kind of roll to the side. I want you to stay just upright as you can. Noticing that left oblique, that muscle along the left side, through your waist, through your ribs. Kind of working to keep you centered and to keep that pelvis level. We pass that right knee back to center, right arm extends out to a T, left hand to the outside of the right knee, and just gently pull your leg across your body. Mm, here's that magic stretch. Turning and taking your gaze out over your right arm. Breathe. If you're new with me, this one, I tell you, is just the greatest stretch ever. If there is only one stretch that I could do in the day, that's the only amount of time I had was for one stretch, it would be this one. Neck, chest, shoulders, back, hip, IT band, just great. Mood adjuster, attitude adjustments, it's just amazing. Slowly we roll it back to center. Extending that right leg to the sky, a little external rotation through that hip and then slowly lower your leg down. I want you to reach out through those toes, like you're gonna try and draw a straight line all the way down through the air and allow it to come to rest. Left knee comes in, hands to your shin, just below your knee, pulling it in, pointing and flexing the foot, rolling the ankle in both directions. Just whatever feels good to you. Softening that foot, extending that right arm out to a T. Left hand guides that left knee up and out towards your armpit. And again, we work to keep that pelvis as level as we can. There's this real tendency to kind of roll over and lift that right butt cheek. Keep it down. Get that little work for those obliques on that right side. Great stretch for the groin, for the glutes. Mobility through that hip joint. Slowly we draw that knee back to center. Left arm extends out, right hand to the outside of the left knee and gently pull it across. We keep both shoulders down just as best we can. And we turn and look out over that left arm. So again, whatever celebration this was, again, if it was just a, hey, life is good. I just need to feel good. I want to celebrate life. Or if it was a birthday, holiday, whatever it was, I hope it was fantastic. And give yourself a day to detox, to recover, show yourself some grace. Reflect on yesterday and how much fun it was, I hope.
And I truly do hope that this helps you feel better, your tummy settle down, getting your body back to a state of health and balance. Gently rolling back to center. Pull both knees in, hands to your shins. Interlace your fingers. If it feels good to you, lift your upper body. Mm, just a tight little ball. And gently release that upper body back down. I invite you to roll to your side or rock it up. If you've chosen to roll to your side, use the strength of your arms to help you come back up. And let's find a seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, creating space in the tummy, in the torso. Close your eyes. Relax your hands wherever you wish, however you wish. And breathe. Quiet your mind, connect with your senses. What do you hear? What do you feel? What part of your body is feeling it? Our sense of smell. What do you smell? Drawing our awareness inward. What do you taste? Even with those eyes closed, drawing your awareness inward, what do you see? What do you see within that mind's eye? We connect once again with our breath, slow and steady. We gently pull the hands to heart center, a slight tuck of the chin down towards your chest. With a quiet mind, an able body, a full heart, I thank you for joining me today. May today be just a beautiful day. Take care of yourself. Be well. Gently lift your face. Open those beautiful eyes. Uh, thank you for joining me. From the bottom of my heart, light, love, and namaste.